Good afternoon. My name is Dale Richter, and today we're going to be talking about the Query Builder. Now we've talked about the Query, query Builder before, and we've built a group or two. But in this webinar, I'm going to briefly go over uh, the Sorting tab, the Layout, and the Defaults tab. So why don't you hold on just a second while I switch over to my uh, web client, and we'll take a quick look. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so here we are. I've switched over to the web client, and I'm going to go into my groups here over on the right-hand side of the screen. I'm going to pull up my Texas and Michigan group here. And then I'm just going to right-click on that tab, and I'm going to edit that group. Okay, so here's the Query Builder, um, and this, this is my Texas and Michigan group that we had built in an earlier webinar, and here's the description. Of course, we have our Conditions tab here where all the conditions are set up, um, but we've never really talked about this Layout tab. So in the Layout tab here, we're able to go up to the top part of the screen. If I go up to my Contact table, I'm able to choose any of the fields that I have within any of the tables up here and bring them down into my layout. So if I wanted to have, uh, let's say, the birth date down there, I can just click on the birthday field. I'm going to drag that down and drop it in my layout. Now, if I scroll way over to the right here, you'll see that it automatically dropped it way over on the right-hand side. So in order to move that back, I can just highlight that field. And then down at the bottom here, you see that I have some buttons. I can click on Move Left, Move Left, Move Left, Move Left. And you see that birthday field moving. Move Left, Move Left, Move Left, Move Left. And it's right next to the Name field now. I can also go into any one of these fields. Let's see what we have here. Um, phone. If I, go to, if I go to Work Phone, and I'm going to go down and click on the Edit button, you'll see all the properties of that uh, column there. So the caption right now is Work Phone. Now I can go in if I want to change that to say Business Phone. I am not actually changing any part of the data or anything in the database. I'm merely switching the caption of this column for this specific group. Of course, it's checked as visible because we want to see this in here in our layout. Uh, the width here, when you see the width in this uh, layout, it's in pixels. It's not in characters. So that's 110 width. And we can make that larger or smaller to increase the width of our uh, a column if we want to. The caption alignment then, we can align that to the left, right, or center. Uh, text alignment, same thing. We can format that. So depending on how that number, the now right now we're on a phone number, if I said just format it as a number, it would just be a string of digits. So we want to make sure when we're choosing a phone number that it actually is formatted as a phone number. We can also put a format string in there uh, for um, another number if we want to format a number type and put a specific formatting type in there. Um, the link to entity or the CSS class, you would not choose either one of those um, at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK there and we're able to edit those columns in as needed. OK, so now once we have our layout done, so remember we can drag anything down from up at the top. If we don't want a certain field in there, let's grab like the mobile here. If we don't want that in the layout, we can delete that. Again, we're not deleting anything from the database. We're merely deleting it from the layout for this specific group. Now if I move over to the sorting tab here, in the sorting tab this shows me how my group is actually going to be sorted. And right now the sort is on the contact name field, last name, then first name. Now we could switch that sort if we wanted to. Now remember, this is a contact group. So 
if I just do by last name, I can go up here and find my last name field in my contact table. I can grab that, drag that down into my sort. Now I can also highlight the first one and just delete that. So now it's just sorting by last name in ascending order. And I could switch that to either ascending or descending. I'm also going to go up here and choose my account field, drag that down. So that's going to be a secondary sort for me. First it's going to sort by last name, then it's going to sort by account. Now remember, once you are in your actual group, just by clicking on a column heading will resort that entire group. So now I'm going to move over here to the Defaults tab. The Defaults tab, in earlier versions of SalesLogix, there were many checkboxes in here. Now it's down to just one checkbox where it says Return Distinct Rows Only. So let's say, for example, I was building a group of contacts that I had activities scheduled for this week. If I had more than one activity scheduled for an individual, that individual would show up twice in the the listing of my group. So if I wanted them to only show up once, I could choose to return distinct rows only. Now remember, when you choose to return distinct rows only, it's specifically distinct rows. So anything different in any of your columns from one record to the next will still have that show up. So for example, if we're pulling up activities like I just talked about, and one activity was a phone call and one activity was a meeting, and we were showing the type of activity, it would still show up twice because it was not exact same data. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, so let's jump back here quickly to the layout. Remember in the layout then, we can choose any fields from the top part in our tables, drag it into the layout. For the sorting tab, we can choose to sort by any of the fields we have in the database. Don't make it too confusing for yourself because you won't know how your group is sorted once you get out and look at it. And then lastly, we have the defaults tab here where we can return distinct rows only if we have more than one, uh, the same contact showing up more than once in our group. Once we have this all set up, we just go ahead and click on OK. And here's our group now. We have our business phone in there. And of course, if we, oops. If we want to widen these out, we could go back into that layout again and widen them out in there too permanently. In other webinars, we'll look at building an ad hoc group. In this one, we just went over the layout, the sorting, and the defaults. I want to thank you for joining me this afternoon and have a great day.